It's the Daily Comedy News with your host, Mark Pyers. Join us for breaking headlines and all kinds of comedy shenanigans. Brought to you by the Beat Seat. Customer pulls gun on Burger King employee after getting a discount at breakfast. Who the f***ing hell is ca- pulling the gun after they get the discount? I asked for the discount. They're like, nah, I'm not giving, I'll pull in the gun. You didn't give me a discount. You gave me a mother f***ing discount. I'm here at Burger King. Gun, you know, in your face. But you say, sir, how about I give you a discount? You look like a really nice guy. I'm going to give you a discount here at Burger King. You mother, you give me a discount? What? You don't think I could pay for my Burger King? He went the whole opposite way there, you know? Trying to do a nice thing. Police in Northeast Ohio are asking the public for help locating a Burger King customer caught on camera pointing a gun at a drive through employee. After the worker tried to give the freaking man a discount, <laughs> did we tell you that yet? I don't know if you heard that part of the story, but that happened. Let's see, the incident took place in Cleveland. A lot of good things happened in Cleveland. They had LeBron James for a little while, you know. No injuries were reported in the crime reported to the department by the Burger King employee. Look at this freaking guy with the gun. Guys, are you seeing this? That's like a a Desert Eagle .50, you know. I got one of those. I actually don't have, have a gun. I should get one, though. Go with 2024? <laughs> you know, guys, what are we talking about here? You got to get strapped. You got to be ready for the man come and knock on your door. Excuse me, sir. We heard, we saw that post that you put up online <laughs> about how you want people to come together. Yeah, yeah, we're going to have, this is not, we can't do that. I'm sorry. We're going to have to take you in. Wait, sir, I'm, I'm trying to bring the world together. That's now a crime? Indeed, 2024. The show is considered harmful <laughs> on YouTube and TikTok, so that tells you something. A positivity show called Mark Inspires with a motto of effect a positive change one person at a time in 2024 is considered harmful. So now you know you're in the twilight zone. And this guy's got his freaking Desert Eagle .50. <sighs> the customer sped away from the scene with the gun out the window and his bag of Burger King. But the images captured on the surveillance uh, show he returned a short time later and pulled alongside another car parked outside the drive through window. Images show he then got out of the car, pointed the gun in the direction of the window, and the employee, look at this freaking guy. He's got a Napoleonic complex. He's barely taller than the height of the car. Do you see this? Look at that. He's, his head barely clears the top of that car. Guys, YouTube X or Rumble, you could see this fool with his gun. Got out of the car. I swear that's Danny DeVito. That's Danny DeVito right there. I'm calling it in. <laughs> Willowick Police Department. Yes, Willowick Police Department. Is this? This is yeah. <laughs> Candace. Yeah. Oh, oh, hi, Candace. Look, this is uh, Mark Pyers. I'm the host. This is of- not Mark Pyers. <laughs> Mark Inspires. Yeah, that's right. Mark I'm is- a humongous fan. You're a huge fan. Oh yeah, we can't get enough of it, Candace. I had no idea. Oh yeah. Look, Candace, we're here. I'm in the Are- chat. Now. Oh, you're in the chat. Hold on a second. Thanks, I see Candace. Jerry. Jerry, do you see Candace in the chat? She says that uh, she's in with us right now. So, Candace, what's the story here with this guy? Is it Danny DeVito? I think you may be out of something. Call Mark. it into the detective right now. Tell him Mark Inspires cracked the case. <laughs> You're on the street, on the scene, Sherlock Holmes. Okay, let me see if I could type a note. Yeah, no, Candace, I don't have time to wait. <laughs> oh, okay. You just let, let him know, okay? You tell good old Detective McGillicuddy that he's got to get on it right away, okay? That's DeVito. He's in, in between scenes of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. And he's like, I'm going to go and just pull a gun. I didn't like the discount I got. I wonder what DeVito is. I, look, we, don't, we can't get into the mind of a criminal, Candace, can we? No, that would be thinking. No, just pass along the info. That's freaking Danny DeVito. Oh, we're trying to figure out who it is. It's DeVito. I think you may be right, Mark. Yeah, no, Candace, I appreciate okay, you. Okay, go. love the show. Yeah, no, I appreciate that you're a huge fan, Candace. Absolutely. Okay, I'll be no, here thank in you. the chat. We'll, we'll see you in the chat. Thanks, Candace. And I'll right. be working, yeah. okay. you know. Gotta freaking go. Oh, almighty, guys, Candace, <laughs> right? She just keeps going with it sometimes. Anyway, um, that's my TV remote. So anyway, here we go, guys. Back into that. I guess that's it. There's nothing else with this goon. That is DeVito, though. There is a phone number here. Hold on. <laughs> yes, Willowbrook Police Department. Hi, Candace. How are you? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, guys, so what, what else do we have in the news today? I'm a bit of a goofball. Get used to it or scroll. That's basically your, your options, you know. Like, I just like to make comedy out of nothing. And I don't have a script. I never have. I never will. And so when my 
something comes up in the story, it's like, oh, they say they're, they're looking for, I'm like, oh, let's give them a freaking call, you know? And no matter how tragic, no matter how traumatic a story we find in the news, there's gonna be 999 people telling you the story that makes you freak out and makes you think about that detail in that way where you're like, oh, I can't sleep tonight. And I'm the guy who comes in and makes you laugh about it. And yeah, we know that all that other stuff exists and we know it's a really disturbing topic and we know that it's disgusting when you think about the detail of that. But if there's some comedy to come out, like what was the mindset of this fucking moron who did this, like all the stuff I've been doing with Pity, P. Diddy, is from his mindset and speaking comedically as if like, yeah, no, this is how you do it. And that's the way my comedy works. And like, you could either enjoy it or not, but I'm not going to be the guy who's coming out like, guys, did you hear about what he did? And then he took his pants down and then like, that. And that's not how I work, man. I come out here, I find a story, and we're going to laugh. Please hit the like on the way out the door, leave a comment and share. I'm live at 9 a.m. and after 9 p.m., so join us. This is the Mark Inspire Show.